Greetings, and welcome to this episode in the series of videos on LiDAR with ArcGIS Pro. This series is brought to you by AmericaView, in partnership with the College of Natural Resources and Environment at Virginia Tech, the Virginia Cooperative Extension, and GeoTED UAS. I'm Cherie Auckland, and I'll be your guide. In this chapter, we will search the web for LiDAR data that is freely available for downloading. We'll locate LiDAR data from a local government site, a U.S. state site, another national government site in Canada, and take a quick look at the United States National Map Viewer. We'll cover the National Map Viewer in depth in the next chapter. LiDAR data can be acquired by many different methods, both ground-based and aerial. An individual or organization can use LiDAR equipment to collect their own data. A company that specializes in LiDAR data collection can collect the data and, as part of the collection process, provide some classification of the point cloud. Some government agencies have already acquired LiDAR data that is made available either via direct download through the Internet or through a special access portal. Many different types of LiDAR data are available. Some are proprietary data files owned by a specific organization, and the software to analyze or utilize such data is provided by or purchased from that organization. In 2012, the United States Geological Survey, or USGS, released standards governing the minimum specifications for acquisition and use of LIDAR for the national map. These standards have since been adopted by numerous local, state, and federal governments. However, no guarantee exists that all LIDAR data meet these standards. I'm going to be using the Firefox web browser and Google search engine. Choosing to use a different browser or search engine will get different results. But even if you use the same tools as I do, you may not get the same results because the web just changes every day. Let's begin by searching for downloadable LiDAR data. You can see we get lots of results. So instead, let's narrow down our search to a local area. Change your search term to downloadable LiDAR data for Mesa County, Colorado. Locate and select the link Imagery and Elevation Download, GIS, Mesa County, Colorado. This disclaimer pop-up is common to downloading any geospatial data. Read the disclaimer and acknowledge its statements regarding accuracy and use of the data by choosing I agree. Now we have access to multiple categories of geospatial data. Let's open Aerial Imagery and Elevation. This is the map viewer from Mesa County. Let's select the year dropdown and from that list of data, select 2015-2016 LiDAR UTM-12. The coverage area for a selection is loaded in the map viewer with instructions for choosing the specific tiles for the area of interest. Notice there are many tiles covering a relatively small area. LiDAR data files are very large, so for faster display and downloading, the files are divided into smaller areas. Let's zoom in to this area and choose these three tiles. Just click them. Be sure you've chosen the same three I've chosen because we'll need these in later chapters. Download is limited to three tiles at a time from this website. Now click on Download Tiles to download them. Choose Save File and Save to the folder of your choice. I'm going to put it in the downloads for now. Now let's try a state example. Search for downloadable LiDAR data, North Dakota. Locate and open the website, LiDAR data download, North Dakota GIS hub data portal, nd.gov. Under data and resources on this page, Dot last file type is one of the available downloads, so let's go to resource. Here, the North Dakota Map Viewer has a table of contents listing the LiDAR data available. Before choosing any data, click on the blue information button for the first tile in the list. We get some limited metadata for the LiDAR file. Read this new information and then close this dialog box. Next, click on the magnifying glass for that same file. The coverage area for the LiDAR data is displayed. Similar to the coverage for Mesa County, the data files are found within the individual tiles displayed in the map. Now let's zoom into the Stutzman area west of Route 281. 
Clicking on the Begin Choosing Tiles button shows several methods for selecting tiles. We'll use the Draw Box method and click and drag a box around these tiles. Be sure you get these same ones as I have. Once these are selected, only one project is shown in the table of contents. If you choose the wrong area, don't worry, you can click Clear Selection and try again. Download the files using the green down arrow. In this dialog box, we want Last Classified, so select it and then click Download. The table of contents now shows a list of the tiles we chose. You can download each file individually or all of the files simultaneously. To choose all of the files, click on the link next to Get the Files At and you'll be redirected to an FTP site to download all of the listed files. We will only download a few of these. To individually download files, just select the file and save it to a file location on your hard drive. For the purpose of future chapters, please select and download each of these files. For our last example, let's do an international search using the search terms Downloadable LiDAR Data Canada. Locate and select Canadian Open Data and Free Geospatial Data, ensuring the URL is canadiangis.com. Web pages change constantly, so you may have to investigate the page a bit to find the Free GIS Data page with an interactive map. Click on Nova Scotia Open Data Portal and scroll down to review information about types of data sets. As we've said before, it's important to read this information which provides details on accessing the geospatial data. Toward the bottom of the page is the data link. This opens the Nova Scotia site to its open data portal. Click on Data Catalog to view a list of geospatial data available. There are 882 pages and pages of data. There may be more by the time you view this video. In the search box, type LIDAR and a list of LIDAR data appears. We will not download data for Nova Scotia. Now let's take an introductory look at the United States National Map Viewer. Search for LIDAR data for the United States. Choose Where Can I Find LIDAR Data, USGS. And on that page, select the National Map Download Client link. On the left, under Datasets, check the box in front of Elevation Data Source. This opens a list of products. Check the box in front of LiDAR Point Cloud LPC. Note that the file formats are LAS and LAZ. Let's show availability for LiDAR Point Cloud data. In the Map Viewer, we see locations of available LiDAR data. Let's look at the description under the image of the LiDAR Point Cloud. Here we see some metadata for the 3D Elevation Program. You can scroll down to locate the LiDAR Point Cloud description. That's as far as we'll go with the National Map Viewer for now. This concludes the chapter on locating LiDAR data. In the next chapter, we will use the National Map Viewer to identify specific data that we will download for use in future chapters.